YouTube. Oh. Actually, I just realized. Hold on. There, the camera angle is probably better by now. It's on top of the fridge, got my dad's bike back there, my bike right here. And I kind of haven't given an update really, but um, to my kickstand, it's not making the weird clang noise anymore really. It's sounding pretty solid now. That little bag, okay. Pretty solid. Got my battery box plus battery and all the wiring done, except for that switch which hasn't come. Sadly, I'll put it up there somewhere. Give it, give it like 10 seconds or something. Just pause the video. I have to blur out a name and some other stuff, but I'll show you what happened with the switch. I bought a, I bought a pretty cheap switch. It was like four bucks and four dollars shipping. So. The number plate's off currently because I had a, I still have to wire the lights, and I got the positive right here, it's pretty long for the switch, but I'll give you guys a little look at this thing, it's pretty bright, the tail light, still surprised, just kidding, you guys don't know, maybe it is, and I could put the number plate on if I wanted to, just like that. I'm just gonna start up my bike. It's been a while since I've even like made a since I've even made a dirt bike video. Um, just really wanted to start up my bike today. Started it up yesterday. I went through cleaning kind of stupidly. I put penetrating oil with a mixture of water on my engine, and it started smoking. And so that was kind of weird. Um, by the way, I will show you in a little bit. Um, I got this thing to hold the wire back there. I don't know if I showed you guys. Oh, and in the beach video, I'm sorry that that was a bad ratio, the aspect ratio. I've had a few problems with that. And uh, I tilted my phone, but it didn't do that. So sorry that it was bad. And I just start up my bike because I feel like it and hopefully it doesn't take me forever like in that video. I still only have taken it on two rides so I can't really fit in a ride video. Um, I'll either make a video just for fun or I'll do a video with Taylor Vlogs or Taylor Blumhofer. I don't know if it went through his name. so. That was pretty good. And I don't know if that name went through or something or what because his YouTube's being really weird. I can live stream on mine. You need like a thousand subscribers, but for some reason I can. And it's pretty odd, but he can't. Um, he's He wanted to do a quick live stream. He has up to 30 subs, so get him up more and he's been helping my channel out i'm at 13 right now and it's kind of good i guess and if you guys stay tuned uh next weekend i'll be doing a vlog with him which will be a, a surprise vlog kind of when it comes out it'll be pretty simple but it'll be pretty What the heck?
probably has a little bit of smoke coming out the pipe, which isn't bad exactly. Okay, look. I don't know if it could pick up on my camera or not, but we went to Chaparral today. We didn't we didn't look for anything really because I don't know. We just didn't feel like it, and it was fun. They had very few bikes actually. Like they only had like three five hundreds of KTM, the XCFWs I think. KTM's been making weird names like EXCF. That's not too hard. XCFW really. And so we're all pretty good. I'm uh stop the video, flip the camera around, and I'll show you what I have been really working working on. Sorry, the lighting's horrible. So here on my bike. It's actually a pretty good bike. I cleaned the engine just a while back. And here I'll give you sorry, it was probably pretty bad sounding. Uh, there. So I put one right here. One right there, and then one over there. Those are those just stick to something, and then you just put a zip tie through, and it holds the wire on. And it's not drooping down. You can't even see it, really. And front, light's pretty good. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys a video on that. But I'm not going to yet, because it's not done yet. And... Kickstand was making a weird noise on the spring. It's pretty solid now. And uh, I took off the air filter box. And these little points. Especially this one at the bottom. Well, I mean, the top one wasn't even dirty, really. There we go. So, I worked on that today. It looks pretty bad, trust me. But it was way worse. That's how it's supposed to look right there. And there's the battery. With the battery, um, you just pop off this and just do like a regular air filter. It's not too hard. And see, what well, kind of bothered me. I mean, not kind of. It did bother me very much, actually. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Um, when it came, well, what, no, actually, I can't say when it came because I was like five when this bike was brand new so when I got the bike at least hey, hold on got it. so when I got the bike come on please Ay, dang oh there we go that'll work yep that'll work so they just pop in it's pretty secure Top one's secure. Then they'll slide in right there. But when it came stock, kind of, it looked like this. You can't see what I'm really saying. But um, uh, when I bought the bike, which is it's currently uh, 2020. Don't know if I'll watch these videos in like a different year or something. But uh, you can see right there. That isn't the straightest. But it was supposed to make it look really good. But when I got it, it was popped out just or in just a little bit, and it kind of looked like bad, <laughs> very much like bad. And on the other side, it was just how it is right now. Now, when I took off the rear fender to put on my light, oh yeah, by the way, that's how tiny the light is. It's not that big, and we just epoxied it on. Uh, so, that's all good right there. Um, but anyway, I had to take the rear fender off so we could epoxy that on. This side, it did the thing. And I got kind of annoyed because, well, what I thought was, I don't know how well that's coming out, actually. Um, so there's this bolt, and there's a bolt underneath the seat right there. And this bolt... It's not too bad. This bolt isn't too bad either up here. But when I took the fender off, what happened was... It was around the other side. What happened was... There was another bolt, like, 
down in there. And it's easier to see with the seat off, but I don't feel like taking it off right now. So what it happened was I thought that would be the bolt, and it's hard to get to with the battery box and the battery now. So what happens is I thought to get this whole piece moved and to make it look nice like that, I'd have to take that bolt out. So I just didn't bother with it. Well, I took out the top bolt because I was bored yesterday. No. Yeah, yesterday. And then I just was able to move the whole thing. And I was like, wait, what the heck? You know, see? Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, it's right down in there. It's hard to see, but you can kind of see it. Overall, I'll kind of... By the time I'm really happy with it, which will be skid plate and spark arrestor, I'll show you guys, and I'll just go over all the parts. Now, the suspension, not really sure what that is. If anybody knows that, and the comments are still on, um, then please tell me. Oh, my neighbor gave me this free sedan. It's pretty good. And it's hold held the bike up, and... No complaints. It was missing one bolt, and I just put another bolt on right, right there. And wobbles a little bit, but hey, it was free, <laughs> and it's awesome. And yeah, so that's all for this video.